Hi well, ladies and gentlemen, it's me again. Uh, I'm going to show you this uh, bloody rubbish that uh, Millsborough Council sent me. Um, there's the envelope. Mm, just a minute, here's the back of the envelope. Got this problem again, can't see the viewfinder. Can you see that? Right, so here's the letter. Right. <clears throat> your vote matters. Make sure you're in. Dear occupier. Registering to vote is quick and simple. It will mean you have the right to vote at elections and being registered could also improve your credit rating. In order to know who is eligible to register to vote, we need to know who lives at your address. What an absolute, total and utter load of bollocks, ladies and gentlemen. I don't believe that this, you know, and there's a, there's a form, you know, you open this crap out and there's a form inside that, you know, you've, you've got to uh, fill in. Otherwise you could face a fine of a thousand pounds, according to this. Sorry, you could be fined a thousand pounds if you don't provide the information requested. Now then, as it states, it will mean you have the right to vote at elections, supposing I don't want to vote at elections, then what? Also supposing that being registered to vote could also improve my credit rating. Well, again, supposing that I don't want my credit rating improving. Thank you very much. Right? So, nobody, let's just play out this hypothetical scenario, right? Nobody at this property wants to vote and they don't want their credit rating improving. Thank you very much, Middlesbrough Borough Council. I understand you're concerned, you know. I get that. Not. Right? No. It's got nothing to do with that, in my opinion. It's just... They want this, other, this, uh, this information. For other purposes, which... They don't seem to be outlining in this letter whatever those other purposes are, right? So, the, the question that I'm asking in this video, ladies and gentlemen, is where is the option on this form, because I can't see one, right? For people like me, who don't want to vote and don't want their uh, credit rating improving, right? Where is the option for me to say, no thank you Middlesbrough Council, you know, go away, not interested, right? You know, signed, you know, non-road user, ta-da, right? No such option. So that brings me to the inevitable conclusion that it's got nothing to do with registering to vote or improving, you know, people's credit ratings. It's all, it's all a, a data exercising um, mission, if you want to call it that, right? Um, it's just another roundabout way because they, they also send out uh, 
you know, like other forms, um, like, you know, uh, do you qualify for single occupancy discount and all this clatter, right? And, um, well, I do, because, you know, I live on my own, right? So I do qualify for that. But, you know, I've filled those forms out in the past. So, you know, this, for me, I think this, this is just another roundabout way of sending out another form to say basically, you know, we know you got your last form saying, you know, you need, no bugger else lives there, right? Um, and then the, the, they want to know, like, who lives here, who's registered to vote? Well, it's me, right? And I'm getting a bit sick of this, to be truthfully honest with you. And um, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm, I'm just really considering just just sitting on this and and not responding to it, and you know, seeing seeing what happens, because you know. If they want to, you know, go through all this, uh, this clatter about you could be fined a thousand pounds. Let me get this right. Let me read this uh, verbatim for you, ladies and gentlemen, if I can find it again. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, there we are. It's important to provide the information requested. Well, it might be important for Middlesbrough Council. It's not important to me. I couldn't give a stuff, you know. So, it's important to provide the information requested. Semicolon. If you don't, you could be fined £1,000. Right? Notice the word could. Doesn't say I will be. Doesn't say I won't be. Just says I could be. Right? Well then again, I could not be fined a thousand pounds, right? So, what's that about? It's it's like um, it's a bit like uh, you know sub subconscious mind games, I guess. You know, oh Christ, I could be fined a thousand pounds. I better fill this form in immediately and send it back. Nah, I think I'll just see what happens. And, uh, you know, will I be found a thousand pounds, ladies and gentlemen? Or will I not? If I am found a thousand pounds, where is the representation from my point of view or my perspective in this process, right? Where I could, uh, for example, I don't know exactly how this works. Somebody come on and explain how this works, you know. Can um, can a council just just say right? You know, there's a fine, a thousand pounds paid, right? Where where is the you know? I thought like you know, court dished out fines, so I could go to court and say, look, you know, I haven't filled this form out because X Y Z, right? And that's the reason. And the court would decide, well, hang on a minute, this guy might have a point, right? Meaning me, right? And then. They would decide whether I was going to be fined, you know, said £1,000 or not, as the case may be, right? So, I really don't understand this, um, you know, and, and also moving on from that, right? Let's, let's just say that Middlesbrough Council do have the necessary powers, which I don't believe they do, by the way, but let's just say they did, right? To say, right, you know, you haven't, you haven't supplied this information that we've requested, right? So, easy £1,000 fine, right? Well, what happens if I can't afford to pay it? Then what? What happens then? Do I get sent to prison? Right? Because if that's going to be the case, right, this, this could turn into a very interesting scenario, right? Because effectively Middlesbrough Council or any other council that goes through all this rubbish, right, would be sending somebody prison to prison for not 
filling out a form and I'm wondering how that serves the public interest you know given given the state of prisons as I understand it currently you know I think the person at the seams was like real wrong hands you know not not people who, who are not filling out bloody forms because they think they're stupid right you know I'm talking about people who are going around um, mugging old age pensioners in the streets and um, knife crime and, and, and such forth, right? And the, and the prison, it seemed to me, are overcrowded with people like that, right? Yet, according to Middlesbrough Council, on the, on the other sheet of paper on this form, let me just see if I can find it and um, try and show you this, right? Because I, I found this quite interesting, ladies and gentlemen, right? Under um, declaration, right, it says, To the best of my knowledge, the information in this form is true. I have checked with everybody on the form and that the, sorry, checked on uh, with everybody on the form that the information about them is correct. I understand that it may be an offence not to give the information asked for in this form or to give false information. I understand that if I do not give the information asked for in this form, I could face a fine of up to a thousand... Oh, it's up to now. Right? The other page, it was a thousand pounds straight. Now it's up to a thousand pounds. So it might not be a thousand pounds, right? So, you know, they're not exactly clear on the first page, but we're getting into it in the declaration now. And if I knowingly give false information I could face an unlimited fine and slash or up to six months in prison right six months ladies and gentlemen six months if I if I fill this form out and give them a pack of BS right I could face a, an unlimited fine and or up to six months in prison, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just show you this because this is so unreal, right? Can you see that? Yeah? <sighs> unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And yes, this this stuff's going on, and um, I really uh, I really do not understand that. And and and, and equally, like I said in the uh, in the previous video, if you've uh, if you've watched that, <clears throat> Labour Council, Middlesbrough Labour Council, can send me this letter threatening me with a fine of on the first page a thousand pounds and then on the declaration up to a thousand pounds right if I don't give them the information that they're requesting yet when I request information from them it's sorry submit an FOI maybe maybe I should just send this form back and say you know, look Middlesbrough Council, if you want this information, you know, submit an FOI to me. I want somebody's name, I want somebody's address, you know, not so good putting Middlesbrough Council, care of the town hall, right? I want I want the actual person, right? The name and the address, right? And the date of birth and what they had for breakfast this morning and all this other clatter right then. I might think about giving you the information that you have requested because you certainly won't provide me the information that I requested unless I submit an FOI and I find that abhorrent. So, another little rant over ladies and gentlemen. Um, thanks for watching and uh, take care and I will uh, catch you all later. Provided I haven't been found a thousand pounds and I'm banged up in prison for six months, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> oh, Christ. Why am I laughing? This is serious, guys. This is serious, you know. Do you get serious head on? Bye.